Okay, so my birthday's just finished. It's uh, Saturday, June the 8th. I've sat down on Huff and Even More Puff, and I just hit the golden buzzsaw. Now, I've heard of the golden buzzsaw, but I have no idea what it does, so I thought I'd better film it, see if it's anything good or not. So let's, uh, let's find out together what is the golden buzzsaw. Oh, it goes to the top wheel. Oh, okay. And is that good? Is that bad? Oh, look what the major was. The major definitely would have been good. Okay. Well, I I don't know. Oh, it's big. Oh, I see. It's bigger. Right now, I know what the golden buzz saw is. It's probably not going to be any better then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably wasting everybody's time with this, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll persevere. It's going to be a disaster. <laughs> I got so excited. I thought it was something good. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. How close is that to that major? That's not fair. Should I hit the button? I'll hit the button. I don't want to keep everyone hanging around. Okay, I love that bridge. <laughs> okay, hit the button, hit the button. Come on, Kath. Don't hold everyone up. Ooh, I've got a mansion. Ooh, I've got a finger in the way. <laughs> the excitement's too much for me. <laughs> I've stuck my finger in the shot. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I think I've got two mansions. Okay. Alright. Oh, hello. Three trigger. That's uh, three mansions. Three mansions. Blimey. It's still my birthday, I reckon. <laughs> Alright. How many we got left? None. That's it. Okay. Alright. Let's see what, uh, what we got. Are we ready? Hello, Mr. Wolf. Let's have it, my son. As expected, not setting the world right. Better. And now... Oh, hello. That's a 50 quid miner. Do you know what? On a dollar bet, I'm pretty happy with that. Thank you, Mr. Wool, for your golden buzzsaw. Cheers, buddy. Here we go then, the traditional dawn trip at the Bellagio Conservatory. It smells gorgeous in here, as it always does. Amazing huge balloons. And as always, it's 4 a.m. and there is nobody here. It's nice and peaceful. I don't know what this theme is. These are just, I don't know, giant cogs. Very nice. Oh, look at the big butterfly, that's cute. That's very cute. Wait, what we got over the other side? There's lots of purple over there. I'm liking all the purple. Hold on, come with me. Come with me as we take a stroll. Let's look back as we walk. Very pretty. I promise I won't go on for long. What are we on? 52 seconds. Right, I'll do another 20 seconds so you don't get bored, because probably you've seen it 100 times before. Ooh, look at that. That's fabulous. Oh, it's all purple on this side. This side is the best side. Only come to this side, ignore all the rest of it. <laughs> there we go. Bellagio Conservatory. One minute, 20 seconds, over and out. Good 
Good morning everybody from Luxor. Uh, yeah, day after my birthday now, uh, Saturday June the 8th. And uh, yeah, I didn't end up going to bed last night till, oh God, about half past six. Um, we had to switch our room over from Ash's name to my name this morning, so I went and did all that. But yeah, before that, um, went down to Cosmo to meet up with um, Steph, Vegas to Cali. And uh, PJ came down with me, got him out of bed at 3 a.m. to go for a walk to see the sun come up because that's the kind of friend I am. Drag somebody out of bed at 3 a.m. to watch the sunrise and go and feed pigeons. Although my bloody pigeons weren't there, but he's found them this morning. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that was the end of my birthday. Didn't go to bed till half past six, quarter to seven. Seen the Bellagio Conservatory and it's fabulous. And uh, yeah, had a lovely time going down to Cosmo finally meeting up with Steph and hanging out with PJ and uh, today is Saturday and expecting it to go a bit bonkers so uh, oh excuse me I burped I've just had one of those very nice too um, so yeah I'm gonna stay at this end tonight until they all leave because it gets too mad for me in the centre strip at the weekend so yeah do you know I was just sitting here thinking nowhere else on earth it's like 11 in the morning I'm eating Skittles drinking champagne, I'm smoking a cigarette in one hand and I've got a vape in the other all at the same time. So that's the kind of day this is going to be. Uh, we'll see how it progresses and uh, I will check in with you all later. Here we are then, Saturday night, the 8th of June, having fun at Mandalay Bay. Uh, obviously the weekend crew are in so it's all going a bit rah. Um, yeah, so it walked over to Mandalay Bay. This is one of my new favourite games, Crazy Chickens. It's very silly. Um, there we go, look, there's a cock. Um, but look at that, can you imagine? World's stupidest game and I'm one away from the grand. <laughs> imagine if that happened, hey? hey? Just imagine, just imagine. Oh, what a surprise, I got the mini instead. <laughs> if I don't come back, you know it didn't happen. Anyway, crazy chickens, fun game. Hello everybody, just relaxing in the room on Sunday morning before we go out to play um, crazy golf. And I thought, I've got this list of stuff that I was gonna get for my birthday, like free stuff, most of which I haven't got around to because I can't be asked. Anyway, I thought I'll be informative and share it with you. So bear with me. Denny's um, and Dairy Queen and Krispy Kreme and IHOP, all of those, if you sign up to their loyalty program, they will give you various items. Krispy Kreme give you, uh, I think it's three ring donuts for your birthday. I, I could still collect mine, that's up to a month um, around your birthday. Dairy Queen, I failed with, because I can't get the app, it says it's not available because I'm UK, but I'm sure Americans can get it. Earl of Sandwich, they're brilliant. You sign up and they send you an email and I go to, collect, go to get a free brownie. I think that's valid for a few more days, so I'll go and get that. Denny's is the Grand Slam breakfast, which I thought you used to be able to just take the passport and walk in, but now you have to have the app and you have to have the reward on your app for them to scan. Um, the other ones I haven't tried that I was going to was the Sugar Factory at Miracle Mile. Apparently give you a cupcake, but I'm guessing you have to sign up. Um, Einstein Brothers, if you sign up, we'll give you an egg sandwich. Um, and apparently at Caesars Forum, the Cheesecake Factory will give you a free dessert if you sign up. But again, all those have not been tested. Um, but anyway, that's it. Oh, Julius League as well, which there is one at Excalibur. If you sign up, they send you an email and you get a birthday smoothie. So hopefully, as of June 2024, that's the birthday things that I've found. On top of that, if you go to Sahara and swipe your card at the kiosk, you get random free play, I only got five, but hey, it's five free money. Um, apparently it's the same at Wynn, but again, I haven't been in there yet, I've got to try it. And I think Palms, where we're gonna to go today, um, I haven't actually signed up with them yet, so I should get maybe a sign up thing and a birthday thing, I don't know, we'll find out. Anyway, that's all I've got. It's supposed to be informative, but not all of it was very, anyway. Anyway, so that's that. Um, oh, and one other thing I wanted to share. When I came here, I um, had the uh, rewards from my Vegas um, because I paid for three nights at the end of the, the comp stay and I got the $100 free play. However, I did it at the wrong time. So it doesn't kick in until 
uh, the end of the booking with the nights that you pay for. So the time would have run out on it. So I cancelled it and got my coins back. But she then said to me, mm, well, when you're in state, you can't get those offers. You have to do it before you get here. But she said, I've heard if you turn off location on your phone so it doesn't know you're in Vegas, you might still be able to get it. So I followed the lovely Krista's advice from the MGM Rewards Desk, turned off the location on my phone, put my Konami on my phone, and lo and behold, we've got the $100 free play. So that will kick in on Wednesday, which is the end of the stay. Anyway, this was supposed to be really quick. I'm rambling on. We've got to go and play crazy golf. So I will see you all later. I just thought, did I actually say what you get from those places? If I didn't, it's Denny's a Grand Slam breakfast, IHOP is a stack of pancakes, yeah, I'm reading it, Dairy Queen's an ice cream dessert, um, I think I said, anyway, I think I think that covers it. <laughs> you get a smoothie from Julius League and a brownie from Earl of Sandwich. Oh, and the other thing, I was told if it's your birthday, you go to Diablo's at Luxor, and they have a special wheel and you spin it and you win something. So I went and asked the bloke and he looked at me like I was a natter and went, no, you can come in here whenever you want to to do that. <laughs> do you want something to eat? And I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> so there we are. So I think that's everything updated with my incredibly informative birthday thing. Oh, shh, I filmed it in portrait. It can stay, it can stay. Right, got to go and play crazy golf. Good morning again. I think I said good morning before. I don't know. Did I? Anyway, um, we have made it over to the Rio with their lovely new carpet. Beautiful new carpet. And the guys are over that way in the food court. That's um, PJ and Andy and Simone. And I have no idea where Ash is. He's somewhere. Um, but I am going to degen because I've already had my version of breakfast. A small piece of uh, pizza and some jalapenos and some cake. All on one plate. Perfect. Anyway, I signed up to the Players Club card and I have $8 of free play. So that's what I'm going to do. And I will uh, catch up with you later, probably during the mini golf or after the mini golf. And um, I think the teams are going to be Ash and PJ, Andy and Simone, and me and Denise. So God help poor Denise. Right, I'll be back later. So while they're all over eating their breakfast, um, I've been a mixologist and uh, I got the miniatures, uh, the one on the end from PJ and the other two there from Andy and Simone as birthday gifts. Unfortunately, I've drunk this one already. I was about to pour it in, but I drank it. But the other two, um, whoops, we've used our little funnel and we filled up our blood bag. So we have a Kahlua vodka blood bag cocktail. Yeah, you lot have your uh, chicken tenders for breakfast. I'll have my breakfast. <laughs> Here we go then, folks. We're heading into the uh, Kiss World. Um, they just paid $12.99 a ticket, and that entitles you to a round of golf and entry to the Kiss Museum afterwards. Although, amazingly, I lost last time I played here, and they gave me a ticket saying my next, work, my next visit is free. That was at least eight years ago, and they just honored it. So I got in for free. Look at that. Go sailing with Kiss. Anyway, I'll give you some more, maybe from the museum, maybe from the game. Um, let's do this. It's girls against boys. Trust me, you can't see anyone in here. It's so dark. But um, so far, we're all level on the first hole. Probably going to get copyright, actually, if I film in here, to be fair. But anyway, this is Kiss Crazy Girl. It's very dark. Two of the players in the recent KISS competition. Can I just ask you, with the scores, which, which team won? Was it the ladies or the gentlemen? The uh, gentlemen won again, and uh, we're going to call the next year. Are you absolutely sure that the gentlemen won? Yeah. Uh, I mean, they, they won the, at losing. Um, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. We won at something. Yeah. May not have been golf. So, so could it was you? Life. That's right. We're well, would life. you admit defeat and congratulate the beautiful lady standing next Always. to you? Always. 